Hey everybody, this is Andre here with the Kevin Breeze channel, and in this video, we're going to be going over the top 5 reasons to buy the Samsung Galaxy S9 in 2021. If you want to get some more information about the pricing and availability of this phone, definitely check the link in the description. This link is going to take you right to the phone on Samsung's website, where a lot of the time, they run some great trade-in deals that you might not be able to find anywhere else. That being said, let's get started. So the first reason to buy this phone in 2021 is the price. Now this is a flagship phone that at one point was the top of the line as far as Samsung's go, but these days you can get this phone factory unlocked for GSM carriers for under $300. This is a great value because for all that it provides, it's very unlikely that you're gonna find a brand new phone in its price range that matches its performance and features. Now there are a few features that it doesn't have that newer Android phones do have simply because those features were developed after this phone was released. But for the most part, this phone does have lots of features that do come with flagship phones and processing power and camera power and really anything you can think of that's just better than the typical phone that you're going to find brand new for around the $300 range. Now the second reason to buy this phone in 2021 is the camera. Now this phone has an 8 megapixel front facing camera and a 12 megapixel rear camera. Now this megapixel count especially compared to a lot of modern phones like the Samsung Galaxy A series for example. Many of those phones have insanely high megapixel cameras around 48 megapixels or sometimes even 64. But don't let the megapixel count fool you because this phone has a very high quality camera especially for its price range. So this is the normal camera mode for the Samsung Galaxy S9. And as you can see, the image is very sharp and the colors are perfectly balanced. It looks very great. Not what you would expect out of a typical 12 megapixel camera. This is a very high quality camera. And for the typical brand new phone around this price range, it's not gonna be nearly this good. This is the front facing camera for the Samsung Galaxy S9. Definitely, again, not what you would expect. When you think eight megapixel camera, you're most likely gonna think of something super low quality, something entry level, but this camera has a very powerful front facing camera. The image is decently crisp, especially compared to phones around the similar price point that are brand new. The image is not gonna be this good on a front facing camera of a phone that's around $300 new. This is the portrait mode of the front facing camera on the Samsung Galaxy S9. This portrait mode is really good quality. The background and the subject are really blended perfectly. This camera in between me and the phone is not really helping, but you get the picture. It's really high quality, especially for its price. And you are gonna have a tough time finding a phone around a similar price range that's brand new that matches up to this quality in the camera. Not only does the phone have a great quality camera as far as photos go, but it can also shoot 4K video in the rear camera. Now there are a couple phones that are also capable of doing this around a similar price range, such as the Motorola Moto G Stylus 2021 for example. That phone I believe is capable of shooting 4K videos in the rear camera, but overall the quality of this camera is definitely a bit better quite a step up from the Motorola Moto G Stylus and most of the other brand new phones in that price range as well. So directly comparing the camera of this phone to those phones, the camera of the Samsung Galaxy S9 is most likely gonna end up being the better camera. Now the third reason to buy the Samsung Galaxy S9 in 2021 is the display. This phone has a 5.8 inch Super AMOLED display with a resolution of 1440p, a PPI of 570, and an aspect ratio of 18.5 by 9. Now there are plenty of brand new phones that have a bit bigger of a screen than this phone, but they're not gonna be nearly the quality of this display. Most of the brand new phones in this price range have either an IPS or PLS LCD display, whereas this phone has a Super AMOLED display, so the colors are gonna be a lot brighter and a lot more powerful. In addition to that, most of the brand new phones in a similar price range to this phone are gonna have a resolution of 1080p or sometimes even lower. But this phone has a resolution of 1440p, which for a brand new phone, 
you're most likely only going to find that in flagship phones or really high-end mid-range phones, but typically not in those mid-range phones and definitely not in this price range. So overall, if you're doing something where the display really does matter a lot, like content consumption or gaming or photo and video editing, any of that sort of thing, you're definitely going to benefit from having a higher quality display. Now, there could be an argument made for having a bigger display instead of just a higher quality one, but that goes more for something simple like video streaming. Whereas if you're doing something like gaming or photo and video editing, you're really going to need to see those little details as good as you possibly can. And in that case, having a higher quality display as opposed to just a larger display is definitely going to be a benefit for you. Another thing to keep in mind is that those phones with larger screens sometimes are a little bit more inconvenient to handle, whereas this phone, not being small by any means, but not being huge either, is going to be a lot easier to carry around, put in your pocket, hold for pictures, that sort of thing. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Now the fourth reason to buy this phone in 2021 is the processor and the performance. This phone is getting 4GB of RAM with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 processor. We ran a Geekbench 5 benchmark test on this phone and it came back with a single core score of 485 and a multi-core score of 2118. Now this is definitely powerful. If you're doing something that requires more processing power, like gaming, photo and video editing, or just a lot of content consumption, even if you're doing something simple like browsing the web, no matter what the situation may be, having higher processing power is definitely going to make a huge difference. And for this price range, you're not going to find a brand new phone near this processing power. So even though you can most likely get by with those phones if you're just doing basic activities, if you're doing something that's more demanding, that requires more power, you're definitely going to see a difference between this phone and a phone with a lot less processing power in a similar price range. And the fifth reason to buy this phone in 2021 is the security features. Now this phone has several different ways to unlock it that are really convenient. Of course, every phone has a pin, but this phone also has a fingerprint scanner that's really easy to use and really fast and responsive. To give you an idea of how well it works, it's locked right now, and now it's unlocked. Not only does this phone have a fingerprint scanner, but it also has face unlock and iris scanning. Now an iris scanner is definitely a more unique feature that you're not gonna see in any lower end phones. It's more of a feature that's reserved for flagship phones. And it's nice to have because it gives you several different options to unlock your phone that a lot of other phones don't have. You're definitely not gonna find an iris scanner in a brand new phone around a similar price range. You might find face unlock. Not always though, a lot of the phones around that range don't have face unlock. And sometimes the fingerprint scanners of those phones in a similar price range to this one don't always work the best. So with this phone for a very similar price, you're getting four different ways to unlock your phone that are all really easy to use and really convenient. Another thing that a lot of people are sometimes wary about with an older flagship phone is actually being able to update it. And while it doesn't have the latest version of Android, it does have the latest security patch, which is great because then you're going to be able to keep your phone just as secure while also having the extra benefits of the processing power and display without paying a whole lot more. But those were our top five reasons to buy the Samsung Galaxy S9 in 2021. If those reasons were compelling to you and you wanna find a Samsung Galaxy S9 for yourself, definitely check the link in the description. This link is gonna take you to the phone on Samsung's website where a lot of the time, they have some great trade-in deals that you might not be able to find anywhere else. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.